Hi guys, this is SDJR78 speaking with a quick channel update, hopefully explaining a few things that will be coming on the channel in the not too distant future, and of course a bit of an update on what I've been up to recently as well. So main thing what I've been really busy with lately is of course the Trench Railway. As you know it had a very very successful first outing at the Western Supermare Model Railway Show. Um, it was great to meet um, quite a few of you guys there that actually turned up to see the layout on its first outing. Uh, and it received a lot of positive comments and feedback and it even became joint third best in show which was amazing uh, i never expected that so that took me completely by surprise and uh, yeah it really really meant a lot so um, i can't thank you guys enough for that um yeah so shows there's quite a lot of shows with that layout this year as you see in the recent video i'll pop a little link to that video up at the top of the screen now and in the description and basically there's about 12 shows that the layout is booked in for this year and i know that quite a few of you guys are excited about those shows and uh, hope to get to those shows to see the layout in the flesh so it'd be really really nice to see you guys there as well and uh, yeah there may be a few more added there may be a few changes but for now that is a pretty uh, certain bet on those shows uh, I know that I'm in talks of getting the show a bit further north as well this year as well. I know that I'm hoping to get it to a, 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 an event uh, near Stoke-on-Trent. I'm currently in discussions about that. It's not a model railway exhibition as such. It's a bit more poignant that, than that. So it's really, really quite exciting. But again, I'm still in talks at the moment. So I know that a few of you guys are around that area or nearer to that area. So I'm hopefully going to try and get the layout a bit further north to that event uh, as well this year. Uh, I'll give you a bit more information as of when I have it. Um, apart from that, I've been sort of basically fixing and not, not fixing, sorry, improving the layout uh, since its first uh, show. I had a bit of trouble with the point work uh, at Weston and I've just been basically over the past couple of weeks, I've been sorting that and trying to find the issues and basically adding the finer details to the layout. As I mentioned in the last update, uh, I basically the layout is nowhere near complete, well not nowhere near complete. A model railway is never complete. There's always bits and pieces that you can add to it and improve on. And of course, that's what I plan to do with the trench railway. Uh, I plan to add a lot more finer details. I've got a lot more figures that need painting up and stuff like that. There's a lot of weathering that needs to go on there as well. And a few more, like little, just little finer details, basically. And that's what I plan to add over the next couple of weeks. And I will hopefully do a full update on the trench railway uh, very, very soon, as and when I've done more of those. But at the moment, I've been concentrating quite a lot on weathering the rolling stock. So as you've seen in the recent video, uh, I've uh, finished, I've just completed weathering uh, the first locomotive, which is the German Brigada lock uh, and its matching water cart tender. Uh, that was very, very time consuming uh, as weathering always is. And uh, basically I've been knuckling down and doing a few more items of rolling stock since then as well. And I hope to bring you a few more of those little slideshow videos showing what I've basically been up to with that uh, in the not too distant future. Um, apart from that, uh, in the meantime, I've basically been going through my archive footage. Uh, as this is the sort of time of year where it's, everything goes a bit quiet. Uh, as you know, Preserve Railways have their winter sort of shut down and uh, there's not really much going on. There's quite a few model railway exhibitions going on, which is good. And as you've seen, I've been going to quite a few local ones uh, recently. So I'm glad you've all enjoyed those videos. Um, but apart from that, not much else. So I've been going through my archive and I've basically put together a few special little videos. Uh, one of these little special videos is the uh, Real Sound uh, series. And I know you guys have been really, really enjoying that. Uh, basically it's where I've gone through all my sound edits over the, the past few years and compiled them into each class of locomotive. So as, you, we've, as you've seen, well, what we, I've already posted, uh, we've had the Hornby Alton Hall, uh, we've had the 14XX, the Batman 4F and the 3F Jinty. And we've also uh, recently had the Batman Penny and Tank as well. And I hope to bring a lot more of those in the future as, as well. So a few that I've got lined up are the Batman Call It Goods, the Hornby 8F, and of course the uh, Batman 7F, uh, which I'm, as you know, I did quite a lot of sound edits of the 7F. Uh, no, no, no particular reason. But yeah, as you can imagine, there's a few more like that to come in the not too distant future. While I was exploring my uh, hard drives and archives, I also came across a lot of videos that I never got around to posting. And uh, this seems the sort of perfect opportunity while I'm working on the layout to do so. So there are about two or three reviews that I actually started filming but never got around to actually fully uh, editing together. So one of these such reviews is of the Batman Auto Coach. 
and uh, as you know while I was working on the layout uh, last year uh, I sort of no October November December I was really sort of cracking on with the layout that basically I changed my style of review format for a bit so basically I did reviews uh, without the audio and you guys quite like that so I'm gonna basically turn those um, reviews that I start filming into reviews like that so you guys get to see what I did and basically it saves me a bit of time and of course it means that I can crack on with the weathering and other bits and pieces getting the layout ready for the shows this year. Um, of course reviews will be making a full comeback later on this year as well. In fact I've got a very very exciting announcement uh, that basically reviews will be coming back very very soon, sooner than you think uh, and uh, in a very very big way so keep an eye uh, peeled on the channel as there is a very, very exciting uh, review to come in a not too distant future, very, very soon indeed. And it's very, very special and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So it's quite exciting, it took me by surprise and I can't thank um, the people behind this enough. Uh, but yeah, so keep an eye out on the channel in a not too distant future. Uh, as well as uh, that ex exciting announcement, there's also one more exciting announcement as well and one that took me really, really by surprise and I'm, I'm completely over the moon by it and it really does mean a lot, but I cannot go into too much detail with it at the moment. Uh, um, but let's just say it involves the trench railway and um, basically I've got to make sure that the layout is ready for then as well. Um, so I've got a, a couple of weeks to get the layout ready for this, uh, for, for, for this special um, thing. Um, I'll go into a bit more detail about it very, very soon as I know a bit more information, but it's very, very exciting stuff indeed. And it, it's, it's something that I've, always wanted to do and the opportunity has arisen and uh, hopefully it's going ahead so uh, I'll have a bit more information on that in the not too distant future as well so I'll keep you guys sort of uh, thinking uh, what could it possibly be but it's very very exciting stuff and uh, yeah so um, I hope you have a bit more information on that soon but apart from that uh, there will be a few more running sessions to come as well um, I, I've also uh, got a few uh, videos that I pre-filmed um, of trains running on the layout in general uh, that I never got around to posting. Uh, so we've got a Crosty 9F uh, heavy freight running session on the way. Um, I've got a few other sort of themed running sessions that I'm going to put together as well. And uh, yeah, and of course, um, as I mentioned uh, before Christmas, I have a, a bit of a backlog of locomotives that I want to review as well. So I'm going to, as mentioned, I'm going to probably do those with the without the audio uh, for now, just so I can catch catch up uh, and get back to where I was before I started building the trench railway, you know, just basically just uh, go through those. So we'll have, um, so far we've got the uh, Q1, of, as I mentioned, I hope to do a little video on that at some point. Uh, we also have the um, new Hornby 8F as well with the Fowler Tender. Uh, I've been really, really looking forward to getting that one out on the track as well. And as well, as you know, I've been sort of venturing into DCC sound recently. And there's a couple of DCC sound videos to come uh, very, very soon. So um, as you can hear, we've got a sound effect going off there as well. But yeah, basically, um, hopefully we'll have um, a few more sound videos on the channel in the not too distant future as well. So apart from that, that's all for this update. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, sorry it's a bit rushed, but as you can imagine, it's very, very cold up in here. <laughs> so yeah. So um, hopefully there'll be a bit more information on those exciting uh, announcements and developments uh, in the not too distant future. Oh, and of course, uh, one thing as well. Um, the Trench Railway is on its second outing this weekend at the Gartel Light Railway on Saturday the 10th and Sunday the 11th. So if you're passing the Gartel Light Railway this weekend, uh, do pop in. Uh, or if you're looking for something to do this weekend, uh, why not pay a visit to the show? It's a good little show, quite a few layouts there, it's a nice bit of trade there as well. And of course you've got the Gartel Light Railway itself which will be running uh, diesel service on the day as well. So um, feel free to pop along and of course um, come and say hi uh, if you see me there with the Trench Railway. So I guess that's all for this update and uh, hopefully uh, I'll see you all guys uh, very very soon. So this has been SDJR, Cinef88 speaking and uh, thanks for watching.